Frankie, you know I'm traveling to Antigua this afternoon and I forgot my passport at home? Boy, it's a good thing I have my driver's license. I'll still be able to travel. Oh, how can you travel to Antigua without your passport? Under the OECS Freedom of Movement regime, OECS citizens can travel to any of the seven protocol member states without a passport. Once they have an official and valid identification card with their picture and nationality on it. Really? Since when? Since the establishment of the Eastern Caribbean OECS Economic Union, under the revised Treaty of Basté, it entered into force in 2011. So, you mean to tell me that I can leave St. Lucia and go to another OECS country with just my driver's license or national ID and customs and immigration won't stop me? Yes, you can even use your voter's registration card or social security card. As a matter of fact, as a citizen of an OECS Protocol member state, you are entitled to indefinite stay when you travel to another OECS Protocol member state, so you can live and work without a work permit or skilled national certificate. As a construction worker here, I could take my trade to Grenada or any other OECS country? Yes, Frankie, you're straight. And what about my wife and children's schooling? Frankie, OECS citizens and their children will be granted equal rights and privileges under the freedom of movement. That includes access to social services, labor market schemes, health and education for your children and your wife. This free movement thing sounds nice. Hassle-free travel to any OECS country, live and work for as long as you like. The OECS Economic Union is the real deal. For more information, visit www.oecs.org.